Yo guys, what's up? Tominator here, and in this video today I wanted to issue a response to Jerry Ward. Um, now somebody pointed out to me in one of my other videos that this guy was talking shit about me, so I had to check it out and see for myself. And sure enough he did. Um, now in case you're wondering, this is in regards to my video, is Dexter Jackson using Synthol, where I suggested that it's possible Dexter's smooth and inflamed right arm at the Arnold Classic Australia could likely be the result of some sort of sight enhancement oil such as Synthol, or otherwise a sight injection gone wrong, as opposed to an injury. And Jerry seemed to really take offense to this, because if you watch his response video, it's almost like he's trying to channel his inner Scarface. I mean, the dude's just dropping the F-bomb every other sentence, calling me a fucking idiot and a wingding, and that seemed to be his word of the day. I admit it's pretty funny I got a kick out of that, um, but the dude really did seem pretty angry and triggered, and I'm really not sure why, because all I was doing was speculating, trying to generate some honest discussion. It's why I put a bunch of question marks in the title as opposed to exclamation points, because I'm asking a question here. I'm not making a definitive claim. So I don't even have a problem with him disagreeing with me, uh, because to be fair, he did raise a lot of good points. But what I do have a problem with was the way that he said it, just personally attacking and insulting me. There was no call for that. Now, I'm not trying to start some petty beef here or anything, but I do feel the need to stand up for myself since Jerry wouldn't allow me that opportunity, because what really pisses me off is that the dude deleted or otherwise hid my comment, so I wrote a very thorough reply to his video to try and set the record straight, and you can see it right there near the bottom between JB and Canal Silverbox. But notice when I sign out of my account, as you can see in the top right corner here, suddenly it's no longer there. Um, so this is the way YouTube works. Guys, I'm going to let you in on a little insider secret because as the owner of a channel, if you decide to remove a person's comment on one of your videos, that person will actually still be able to see it, but everybody else will not. And that's clearly what's going on here. This guy saw what I wrote, got worried that people might take my side, uh, and then deleted it. So not only does he insult me and slander my name, he doesn't even give me a chance to defend myself. That is some weak ass shit, Jerry. That's fucking cowardly. What, are you afraid I'm going to make you look bad, or is your skin really so thin you took offense to what I said? Because I was thinking of launching an attack right back at him, but I decided to take the high road and keep it respectful and professional. So here's what I actually wrote, guys, and I'll read it out to you. Well, I'm flattered you're talking about me, but just some points of clarification, Jerry. And I'm not just saying that, by the way, because this is a relatively big fish in the pond here. He's a well-known voice in the YouTube bodybuilding community. The guy's been around for a while, and he has over 150,000 subscribers. So for him to notice me and take time out of his day to issue a 12-minute long response is actually kind of flattering in a way. That says a lot in itself right there. And how's that song go again? If you ain't got no haters, you ain't poppin'. You ain't poppin'. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't poppin', nigga. Right, so I guess I'm popping now because I got haters galore, man, and none bigger than this cat right here, Jerry Ward. So to continue, number one, you're right, I never tried synthol, never did steroids or competitive bodybuilding either. Does that prevent me from making commentary and speculating as a fan in order to generate discussion? I'm not pretending to be an expert and telling people this is 100% what happened. That's why I put a bunch of question marks in the title. Anyway, what you're doing here is a classic ad hominem attack of this guy hasn't done this, therefore he's an idiot and his opinion is useless. So if you guys don't know what an ad hominem attack is, it's basically trying to bypass somebody's argument, completely ignoring what they're saying, and instead attacking them on a personal level. It's a very juvenile and immature tactic, and uh, that's basically what Jerry Ward did when he was calling me a fucking idiot and, you know, bragging about how he has so much experience with synthol and steroid use. And basically trying to invalidate my uh, opinions and whatever I have to say because I don't have experience in these things. Uh, it just came across as very uh, insecure and just unnecessary. I, I don't know why he felt the need to do that. But anyway, number two, you say Dexter's arm looks smaller at 2 minutes and 14 seconds. So you can hear him say this. No, it didn't. Go back and look at his left arm in the AC Ohio versus two weeks later at the AC Australia. And you'll see it's suddenly gotten bigger. His left arm has always been noticeably smaller than the right for the past several years, by the way, so maybe that's what you're seeing. Number three, I only said synthol because most people are familiar with it. Like I said in the video, it could be another SEO or some other type of site injection gone wrong, which you even admit could be the case, and he does this at 2 minutes and 38 seconds in the video, uh, but then you contradict yourself a few minutes later at 6 minutes, lol. And he does do this. He, at six minutes, he says something like, what is, a, what is a sight injection gone wrong? Or what is a bad shot? What is that anyway? 
And it's like, what are you talking about? You're totally being inconsistent with what you just said, dude. Um, so I wasn't totally ruling out the possibility of a training injury either. So you'll notice that at multiple points in the video, I said as much that this could be a training injury because I'm not an expert on either of these two subjects, training injuries or especially site injections, but I was just going based on, you know, available evidence and making spec drawing speculative conclusions. So nothing that I said was definitive and I wasn't trying to pass myself off as some sort of expert either. Number four, fair enough, I'll admit I was mistaken about J. So I did mention that, um, you know, I don't think that Jay tore his bicep and multiple people have pointed this out to me that uh, it was well documented that he did. So, you know, I'll be the first to admit it, guys. I made a mistake there. I should have done my research and I didn't. So point granted, you were right. Yeah, guys, so that's the deal. Unlike someone like Jerry Ward, I've never claimed to be an expert or tried to pose as some sort of insider guru. Uh, so I can afford to be wrong, but I guess Jerry, on the other hand, cannot. And that's why he gets so upset when somebody points out inconsistencies or contradictions in what he's saying or that he's been mistaken with something. So I, I can only assume that's why he deleted my comment. Uh, I can't really think of any other reason. I don't think I really disrespected him. I think I kept it pretty civil. So that's pretty much all I have to go on and uh, you guys can be the judge. Um, but thank you for watching and I hope that you uh, at least found it somewhat entertaining. I don't like to engage in these sorts of childish uh, arguments over the internet. It's just stupid, but if somebody's going to take shots at me and take, and, you know, talk shit behind my back and not allow me to even defend myself, then I'm going to, I have to respond in some way, man. I'm not just going to sit idly by while some dickhead over there, you know, decides to run his mouth on me and, you know, put words in my mouth and stuff like that. So thanks for watching everybody and feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, I'm the Tominator signing off and I'll be back.